Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Till Death, starring Megan Fox um, and Colin Malavy. Malavy? I think that's what you say it. I don't know. He's been in a lot of different things. Batman vs. Superman. Um, I've seen him. Oop, I just favored him. I didn't want to favor him. Um, but, uh, you know, Batman, Captain America, Ford vs. Ferrari, Ferrari um, Avengers. He's all over the place. So, um, you will know him if you see him. Uh, it's about a woman who is um, goes on a retreat or a, a vacation with her husband, handcuffed to him, wakes up he's dead and she's stuck with him and then people are coming back to now kill her and she's handcuffed to her husband. Assuming that's Megan Fox. You know, doesn't sound great, but 5.8 on IMDb, which isn't terrible for the way that that just sounded. And almost 4,000 people have rated it so far. So it's a horror, it's a thriller, and it's an hour and 29 minutes long. So. Eh, it's worth a shot, right? So let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and let you know what I think. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Till Death. Sorry no check-in, because it was pretty much what they said it was. Um, it's interesting. So, Megan Fox, if you've seen her before, I mean, she's got, I guess they say resting certain kind of face. Um, I don't know if that's what she has, but she always looks like she's just angry. Um, especially in this film. I'm trying to think of other movies where maybe she wasn't so angry, but in this one, she's, you know, she was just, she did not look happy. Um, and I get it, you know, the whole marriage was maybe on the rocks and at times she would, couldn't, but I mean, all the time, like, anyway. So, it really, what happens is she does wake up handcuffed to her husband who is, who, who dies, right? And uh, the reason for his death, I thought, was a little, hmm, you know, uh, I, didn't, I didn't piece that piece together too much. I, I heard, I don't know, whatever. It's not that important, but it, it, it doesn't work well. I don't think. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, and of course, as they say, there are people coming back after her. Um, you know, and you'll have to find out why if you do decide to watch this film. Which is all well and good. Uh, you know, um, that, that kind of, that whole piece does make sense and isn't too far-fetched. Um, but she has to evade them in this house that's in the middle of nowhere, right? It's snowy and cold and stuff like that. But she has her husband, who has to be 200 pounds, you know, I mean, literal dead weight, dragging him around this house and everywhere she's got to do to evade these attackers, these pe these people who are coming after her, right? And and it's like, hmm, really? I mean, I get it, and uh, just not buying it, you know. At first, when you know she's got to move about and the struggles, you get it, and it's like, ugh couldn't imagine it but then when that happens and it's like really you're able to, to you know do what she had to do for that long eh, whatever um so and then there's certain scenes within that whole period where it was like yeah no i i think um you'd be caught <laughs> you know like it's kind of like this is a uh, um kind of an exaggeration so it's not a spoiler or anything like that but like I don't know if you have kids but if you have kids and they're doing something they shouldn't be and you go to look at them to catch them they freeze like you can't see them well that's kind of what happens with Megan Fox and the dead husband like <laughs> I mean it's an exaggeration but really freeze they can't see me you know what I mean and and, and they don't they don't find her because you know <laughs> she froze kind of thing so that that you know what I mean that whole thing um I don't know how I felt I don't know if it was how angry she looked that threw me off and and, and made me think about her acting skills um but really she didn't have much many lines after that you know because you know really she's just like running around dragging and all that kind of stuff so uh, i'm gonna reserve my comments on that uh, it was just really how angry she was the whole time so um i felt the whole setup was very elaborate and i thought that was interesting i liked that piece of it except for 
you know, the beginning kickoff piece. I know that didn't make any sense, but, you know, a lot of it was okay. Um, elaborate and interesting. Um, so there were some aspects of this film that, that I kind of was intrigued by. There were also some aspects of this film that I was like, hmm, no, you know. Um, so, I know it's hard. I, I'd rather leave it up to you and, and not give you more than what's in IMDb. But it's a far-fetched, interesting thriller. I don't think it's horror. Um, that kind of, kind of, you know, kind of edgy or seedish. You know, I mean, when she's trying to get away, um, that kind of stuff, and that's it. I, can, I don't think I got. I, I'm sure I had some other things um, that I wanted to. Yeah. So the whole husband dying thing. And then, even though, you know, his whole, the whole thing that was around all of this was elaborate, as I said, um, I don't think the, you know, the whole, that whole piece made any sense. And, I don't know. I can't say it without spoiling it, so I won't go any farther. You'll catch it. Wait, you know what I mean? Like, it just, I don't know. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, just think it through. If you go and watch this film and think it through, and it's like, that was very elaborate for what was supposed to go down. So, there you go. Uh, <laughs> and it says, twisted plan, spouse's twisted plan, whatever. So, see if you can... They, I don't know. They tried to make something out of nothing, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I can't say anymore because I'm tripping over myself trying to not spoil it for you, but give you more information. I think I've given you enough. Hopefully. I'm sorry. I can't be any more um, detailed because you'll want to check it out. So, wouldn't pay for it. Maybe Redbox. Wouldn't be a 5.8 for me. Surely not that. Um, nice short film, though. So, that's it. All right, I'm out of here. Um, hopefully I was somewhat helpful. I apologize if I wasn't, but I did my best. If you check it out, let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts, and thanks for tuning in. Camel's Irish Club.